today. But, uh, just before, I, I haven't done many. I've, I've got to admit, in the last couple of years, COVID and all the rest of the shit, I haven't recorded many speed cameras. But I'm noticing the little fucking blood-sucking vampires parked on the sides of the roads a little bit more often these days, so I thought, I'm going to start bloody recording them again. Last count, I think we're up to about 120, but um, we'll say the one up the road here is going to be number 121. For more from my numbering, I'll correct it in the, uh, in the, in the chat. Now, sorry if I look like shit, I've had a bit of a fucking headache day today, you know, one of those drowning things could be, you know, lack of Coca-Cola or something. Who knows? Sometimes get barometric um, headaches, you know, when the weather changes, the extra weight of the atmosphere or whatnot. But then I don't want to start rambling off like a fucking idiot now, do I? So, just this road here is called Triangle Road. I don't know why, consider it's rectangular in shape, but it's um, Triangle Road and we are going down here to see if the blood-sucking vampire that was here on the way to the supermarket is there on the way back to the supermarket. It was about 2.30. Which part of the question did you know? The entire question. Okay, sure. Uh, you said, you know, let's just go back to my point here. You said that you felt that he posed a safety concern. Remember you said that? Camera there, guys. What part of his actions? It's now just, just on 4 o'clock, coming up to 4 o'clock. So, um, it's up over this rise, through a roundabout, and then back down onto the flats, and that's where the little scumbag was hanging out last time. They do like to hang about on um, halfway up this hill, which is extremely sneaky because you have to literally keep your foot on the brake to stay at 50 k's, otherwise you naturally increase um, or change down a gear to stay at 50 going down the front of the road hill. But they like to park their um, their speed camera's right there to catch everybody that goes over a certain threshold and easy money. Yeah. So let's just go on. I've got my, um, I, I, I was talking to Brent just yesterday on the phone, or the day before yesterday on the phone, and I said to him, I says, mate, Mark, Auckland Transport's taking their time on copping up full disclosure, you know. 28th of April was my um, first call hearing where I just <laughs> filed a bit of paperwork, didn't bother driving a manica, and um, yeah, that, that got accepted, so now it's full disclosure, so then I filed a document asking for a full and final disclosure, meaning you don't get to drip feed me more shit afterwards, and um, they gave me everything according to their letter that complies with uh, Section 13.1 and 12.2 of the Disclosure Act, well that's great. See a brief of evidence, perhaps you've supplied a witness, just no brief, no statement as per 13.3, no, um, no sworn statement or written statement from any witness. So you've still failed. And here's the scumbag right in front of us here. You can see this, uh, this is the prick. What is his, what is his plate number? Oh, it's GFL 411, an old buddy. Complete wanker. So yeah, that's him. But as I was saying, yes, uh, joking about not getting disclosure, and then lo and behold, ten minutes later, the uh, son pops, pops in with the mail and says, "Yeah, Dad, you've got a big envelope." It was my full disclosure. Well, at least what they call full disclosure. But um, so my uh, hearing ironically is one day after Tony's hearing at Manukau, I swear they just did that to fuck me off um, so we've got Tony's um, case management conference hearing or pre-trial application hearing for the Auckland airport incident um, on the 29th at Manukau, 29th of June and then we've got uh, my Auckland transport versus me bus lane ticket 150 bucks they want for driving in a bus lane. Now I'm not 100% sure if it was me there or not, but luckily it doesn't come round to what I believe or know or don't know. It comes round to whatever they have to show. 
Do you think I'm going to be saying I was the driver of the vehicle? No. I am going to be saying where's the particulars of the vehicle? And then you can tell me which of the two registered owners you chose to send the ticket to, seeing as the video camera footage doesn't show who the driver of the vehicle was. get around that one but you know that's just uh, we'll see how that goes Auckland Transport honestly it's like oil and water Auckland Transport at least did a fairly reasonable job of supplying disclosure nothing like the pathetic excuse of prosecutions that uh, the, the police are they are absolutely pathetic you've got to ask them left right and center but every drip of information because they're that incompetent, they never fucking supply any of it. Or, the one thing you ask for, they don't supply, and then they give you four to six copies of everything else they've already supplied you. You know, it, it's ridiculous. And then they have the gall to say, we've, we're satisfied, we've complied with our disclosure obligations. Are you just? So where's the fucking witness list? You know, where's a formal statement? Where's a brief of evidence? Where's the list of all the witnesses you don't intend to call? Hmm? And while you're at it, if you're going to give us a list of people you're not going to call, why don't you give a list of reasons as to why you're not going to call each of them? Because all of that shit you're entitled to request under Section 14 of the Disclosure Act, Criminal Disclosure Act. Nobody ever fucking asks. And boy, did they get their nose out of joint when I ask for their sole witnesses' criminal history. Constable David Lee. <laughs> That's not relevant to the case. Well, of course it is. You're putting them up there as a witness. I ain't give a fuck if he's wearing a monkey costume or not, or whether you want to refer to the witness also as officer in charge. I want to see what his criminal record is. And they just refuse to give it to you. And they don't tell you why they're refusing, which are both rights you're entitled to. You see how much of a cunt you can be when you really want to be? Take it from one that knows. I'm one of the world's biggest cunts out there. So, um, yeah, like I say, throbbing headache. I think it's caffeine withdrawal. I haven't had any Coca-Cola lately, so perhaps that's it. But anyway, fellas, just thought I'd drive you past, show you that scumbag speed camera. I may or may not have been, um, you know, indicating to others to slow down because there's a fucking blood-sucking leech on the side of the road trying to gain more crowd revenue for the police or for the government consolidation fund. God fucking no slush fund for the politicians. Got it, the coppers must be getting a little low. I see more of these speed cameras out now. You know, it's winter time. Everyone's in a bit more of a rush to get the fuck out of the cold. So I suppose it's a perfect time for them to stick their fucking noses out there and try and rape and pillage more unsuspecting victims. I mean citizens. But yeah. I know I haven't been on the, on the tube much. I have been helping out a lot of other people behind the scenes. Paperwork and documents and shit. So, uh, you know, only limited time. That and my health has been fluctuating. So I must apologise for not uh, giving you guys some regular content lately. But, uh, you know, you have a few days right. And then just when you're about right and set to get onto doing the next step, you go downhill again. And that's what it's been like. I'm still trying to figure out what foods um, or what outside influences that I'm ingesting in the lines of food or drink um, that's triggering my um, inflamed bowel issues. But I've got to say, you know, when, when, it, when that hurts, it's really debilitating. So, um, yeah, it's been just over two years now since I've started having bowel issues. At least it's not fucking cancer, eh? That's another story, another life. I'm rambling on. 
I will catch up with all of you wonderful people out there in the uh, Google verse or YouTube verse or look at me verse or YouTube land or whatever the fuck you want to call it, Bitchute land, Odyssey land, Rumble land. Um, I will see you all again soon. Bye now.